Hello music lovers, today's video is uh, about the Denon S960H, the 8K receiver, which I have now one and a half years using it with all kinds of problems. So I made this video for you guys to give you a heads up because I sincerely don't know what is happening to Denon and uh, this powerful, very powerful brand that made great receivers, great amplifiers and now with their last products in medium budget near to $1,000 because this is the value of this receiver that is called AK um, Denon forgot they are first audio an audio company and they forgot their philosophy of maintaining good quality products. With this product guys I'm sincerely disappointed of Denon because this product has uh, all kinds of problems. First problem was uh, the Bluetooth. When the firmware, I made the firmware update, the first firmware updates for the Bluetooth, I'm talking only for this feature, for this component, worked great when I play, when you play uh, music from your phone to your receiver. But with the last firmwares, somehow they don't want to fix the, fix the things. Uh, I talked uh, on our videos and uh, not only this uh, uh, Andrew Robinson, uh, talked and found a lot of cones, especially at the sound for this uh, receiver, and I found it also. Um, I have to say that with that firmware updates, I think the sound is a little bit improved when you are using it with Odyssey, when you calibrate your room with Odyssey, it used that equalizer to give the sound, but for that category of people that want to take advantage of the high-res sound, I think the sound is artificial, it's not uh, native, like I have here a Pioneer, an old Pioneer that has almost 20 kilograms, it's an amplifier, only for music, a good uh, old school figure it out, 6 kilos has only the uh, transformer inside it, so it's a heavy, great machinery that it's a high-end, uh, um, amplifier. I compare it with this one. I didn't have the expectation to be near to to it, but uh, not this uh, this bad to perform this bad um, the S nine hundred and sixty H. So there are times when I will click living room for this receiver and the receiver does not open. And uh, another problem, a big problem, is that the music. If I'm playing music and I will try to put some YouTube free music because uh, I don't want to get copyright strike, the Bluetooth is not working. So uh, it sends streaming info data to this receiver. Somehow the receiver interrupts the audio and uh, is like skipping the track, uh, not to. Uh, uh, getting exactly the audio flow from your phone to your receiver. It's a uh, quite awkward thing and strange. Now I'm playing a flag file from my from my phone to the receiver and it has this, you see, the music stopped and the music is playing here on the phone. The music is still playing but the receiver I don't know exactly what is the deal with the... It's connected the phone to the receiver, but it doesn't send the information or somewhere. It's a buffer that now, now it's run also. Yeah, you see? These interruptions, these interruptions of the sound of the, I don't know exactly what is the deal with it, because into the phone, the music is playing good, but it doesn't stream. Maybe it, uh, for, with these new filmers of Denon, they uh, cut the power of, um, let's give the music, uh, 
they cut the power of the Bluetooth. I don't know exactly what is the idea. It's the uh, latest uh, firmware updates are terrible. And not only these guys, they not made the firmware update in a month, three times, I think. In a month and a half, three times. And this is a bad sign for me. Because uh, in one firmware update, you could not find with your phone the Deno receiver by Bluetooth. And a lot of people use uh, their phone to stream to their receiver. They have a lot of speakers like I have. And they use the receiver. And it does not work. It did not work anymore with the last uh, firmware update. Uh, I think the non act reactivated the Bluetooth, but you see these problems. With the first firmware of theirs, the Bluetooth did not have any problem. So again, I'm very disappointed with this receiver. Um, the sound, it's a little bit improved. The, um, into the menu, I was talking in our video and you can check out uh, our full review of this receiver. I was talking that into the menu, you will surf with the remote control quite not that good. The uh, smoothness of uh, the remote control is terrible or um, the processor of this receiver it's quite slow that will not let you to uh, make the operations it has a big delay when you press it they don't did nothing of this aspect you know our receivers we have a x520 uh, bt that remote control works flawlessly the um, surfing with the uh, usb with that remote control works uh, like i told you without any delay flawlessly very easy to surf and navigate into the uh, usb stick if you are using this receiver this new 8k receiver it will be a pain in the ass you will have delays it will have it will think a lot when you click uh, to go into the even into the usb device um, it will think a little bit and uh, I'm not having problems with this receiver. I, I see that all the receivers of S960H uh, have this problem. You are having a big graphics there. It's like GTR5 with very extra high uh, details. Come on, the graphics on this receiver are from 1990. So are like old i don't see any graphics that uh, makes the proce processor the cpu unit to work and put his muscles on it no the graphics are very simple and i don't see how uh, the menu is very slow to surface to navigate uh, um, and surf around the menu just to play a track maybe it has that thumbnail of the tracks of that loading of the thumbnails something to do with it but i'm not sure uh, i'm sure and it's a fact that this receiver is very slow on the surfing with the remote control and not only on usb i think it's slow into the menu in everything it's not like instant like x520 uh, bt you can check out that receiver was very good in surfing now then on with this receiver they didn't brought a good quality a high res like they're pretending the usb in the high res is terrible i got to tell you the sound on going the usb on the dsd it's advertises dsd it's not a dsd you can take a chinese uh, dongles from sonata if you know Put it to your phone and you will see a mind blowing when you are playing a DSD from your smartphone with a jack. Uh, even on this receiver you will put an auxiliary and you will see a big difference from the USB comparing to the USB. Put your phone on Sonata, Sonata with a um, jack cable and two RCAs into the back of this receiver and you will see big difference comparing the sound. So it's not possible. So if we are searching for, I will tell you now, the firmware file. I start my projector when uh, I press the menu button. Uh, into the firmware, I check the blast firmware. It doesn't uh, allow notifications, upgrade on. Version is, and I got to look to the projector, is uh, the version is 4407273805370407050. So DTS version 3905082. So this firmware activated the Bluetooth, made it work, but 
didn't make it work like he's supposed to. He has a lot of interruptions of the sound, you see, like you saw before. And guys, uh, after we made uh, in 7 January 2021 the full review, I made one update and I'm uh, feeling bad that I didn't remain to that firmware update. That firmware update made possible for the Bluetooth inside to transmit music to your Bluetooth headphones, not only for you to transmit from your phone to the receiver, so in, is in both ways. So I'm feeling bad that I didn't remain to that firmware update because that firmware update was good. I, I don't know exactly if they fixed then the sound with the uh, audio C and rise a little bit the equalizers. It's pretty bad that it's, uh, like I told into the review, it has high grade components inside are a little bit, uh, the quality of the components is a little bit raised. I don't know exactly why Denon doesn't release their uh, full capacity of their components to make a true 8, uh, 8K. For listening also to the music, I'm not interested, especially for the 8K uh, receiver, the 4K was enough for me but they must invest in sound uh, of course receivers you know you cannot have a high-end receiver i'm very aware of that this is why i have a, an amplifier and also this we i have a three guys and if i'm showing you my electronics this switch is for switching between the receiver and the amplifier i made an invention this is a true audiophile switch a very powerful switch with one set of speakers. So when I'm uh, listening to music, I will put down from the amplifier to directly to the, my speakers. And when I will watch a movie, I will put only the receiver to give the sound to my front speakers. This switch is only for my two front speakers, switching it between the receiver and the amplifier. You can see that uh, video also. So guys, I hope this video will uh, be a heads up. We made an email to Denon and we want to get in touch with them, but they didn't respond. They think uh, they are greater than other manufacturers and we are collaborating with uh, premium manufacturers all over the globe. Sincerely, this is a sad thing for uh, Denon. I thought this company was something else from different from other companies, but uh, I had surprises. But this video, guys, and I'm talking in this video strictly on the cons on the problem but this video guys is made only for presenting the problems i'm not interested in not talking with the denon company it's only for presenting what and make you a heads up for you uh, because it's not worth the money that they're requesting and uh, not only this is not worth the money you cannot buy a defective product because with the firmware you made a defective product um, a non-functional product that you pay a thousand dollars, in my opinion, is a lack of respect for your clients then on. So I uh, hope with this video you will make a better products and you will put your ears next to what influencers all over uh, YouTube, the real influencers, will say about your products based on their experience. So thank you for watching guys. As always, we take side with people and uh, with uh, the companies with the truth in their products. If you like this product and if you, we help you, we have a donate button, you can donate guys, if as little as you can afford. And uh, have a great day guys. Uh, thank you for watching, subscribe that button and like this video. Have a great day. See you guys, bye.